This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at Birger and Hug at Reiken. This is the outlet. And this is the first of many uh, videos in a series where I'm trying to find the right soul. <laughs> no, but I have decided to sell the leaf. And uh, I figured that the soul is in, in a higher price range, but it's the best, by far, the best car you can buy, roughly at 50 to 60, 70,000 nook. So uh, now we're going to check out this car. So you see, fun fact, by the way, this place, uh, Birgen Outlet, it's um, all the, uh, what do you call it, the trade-in cars. They end up here. When you buy a new car from Birgen Hoog, you trade in the car and then they are selling it second hand here. See, even some Teslas and stuff, they don't only sell the cars under Big and Hogue. There's a classic Iona. Ooh! I have to check it out. Oh, yeah, you see, it's a little bit above my uh, budget. This would be okay, but that's not going to happen. Okay, but so the first car we're going to test now, oh, check out, is this 2015 Soul. Well, I can see the stats here. Uh, what? Uh, in, oh, no, he took away the info plate. Yeah, maybe it's inside the car, but um, what interested me with this car is that uh, I don't mind the, the low tire pressure, it's supposed to be okay by the way. It has low mileage. Uh, cars in this age are supposed to have at least 100 to 150,000 kilometers. So that's good. Um, and then I have hooked up, okay, we charge the car to 100%. I hooked up car scanner. And here are some interesting, oh, let me close the window for now. Some interesting variables maybe. Okay, when it says 100% there, it's 95 BMS. The current is not being pulled around, that's good. It seems like the contactor is probably open right now. Um, discharge power 90 kilowatt. Battery temperature 20 degrees. I requested to have them inside. Well, they have been inside anyway, so that's good. Um, we have a charge power. Okay, I might not need this one, but this is interesting. Huh? No, this can't be right. Uh, you discharge 8,600 kilowatt hour. And then, based on the distance here, it means that the owner averaged a little bit over 100 watt hour per kilometer. That doesn't make any sense at all. So, I don't think we should look at that number at all. But here, state of health, huh? There's two state of health variables, and they reported as 74 or 80 percent. Or, I mean, I don't know, uh, yeah, percent, but I'm not sure how it counts. But um, by the end of the day, we have to look at how many kilowatt hour get out of this. So you guys know the drill. I will do the final preparation. We have to take out some stuff here and then we start the test. Okay, the test is about to begin. So I'm just going to show you now why I chose Seoul. Because uh, it has okay space in the back. Is it? Wait, shit, you got to leave. I don't know. Just kills my OCD. Uh, it has okay space in the back. Oh, there's some dents here in the... Oh, yeah, no, it's been folded, yeah. The seat's been folded, so... Uh, and then the trunk is short, but tall. And you can open up the space under here also. <coughs> so I brought the EcoFlow just in case, and then the safety equipment. So, yeah, now we can do the test. Okay, and this test is not too important how fast we drive. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a little stone chip there. Okay, no big deal. But you see... We have a touch screen here, big screen backup camera. We have backup sensors. We have plenty of space in the front. We have ventilated seats, heated seat, of course, heated steering wheel. Uh, this car, uh, it, it, it has so many nice features for its price. Like it's almost unbelievable. So uh, based on the set of health, it could seem like we have, uh, if you trust the, the highest one, it could seem like we have almost 21 kilowatt hour. If that is true, then this car is a bargain. Um, I've seen as low as 17 kilowatt hour on these cars. So yeah, uh, but we, we need to test it. We can't trust the number there. And besides from testing the battery, I also need to get an impression of how the car is in general when I drive it. Does it have any weird noises, clock clock sounds? Does things feel loose? Uh, at least now I don't feel anything weird. And also, uh, this car has been EU uh, control, uh, whatever you know, uh, passed by Birgen Home themselves uh, recently. And also, uh, what about weird smells? You know, the, the leaf just smells really bad, as if someone died in there. Here, it doesn't smell that much, so that's good, yeah. 
uh, because you know what I'm gonna use this car for is mainly as press car shuttle I will drive it from Yesheim to Oslo roughly 35 uh, to maybe 50 kilometers depending on where I drive right uh, and then park there for a week while I'm borrowing press cars and then drive back and I will most likely have to top up somewhere uh, on the way back or on the way maybe preferably on the way there when the battery is warm uh, but the leaf the problem with leaf is that it charges so dog slow it cold gates all the time and this uh, soul charges a lot faster so um, along with more range and more space that's also neat because in case I don't have a press car um, then I might have to use this soul as the family car for just running some errands and you know putting wifey and Isabella in a smelly leaf that's gonna not gonna work and then I uh, sew it no it's not gonna work uh, so it no I will make a video about which car you should buy and which one you should stay away from we're now on the motorway it took a while to drive on the slow stretches but okay uh, one interesting observation is that uh, the battery has heated up only from the slow driving hmm this could indicate that there's some internal resistance here as the battery ages the, the resistance uh, goes up and up so yeah we will drive now a stretch uh, south um, before we turn around and go back to the starting point uh, oops uh, <laughs> I forgot that these cars they have so short range so we have 33 kilometers of range left and uh, uh, how much is this uh, 42 kilometers back there okay so I have to stop on a fast charge on the way there but that's interesting we can check how fast it is charging also whoa wait a minute there's something not looking good here um, you see that we have done 59 kilometers and if you multiply that by uh, the consumption here we get a little bit over 10 kilowatt hour huh we consume only 10 kilowatt hour and we are down to 24.5 percent already oh oh this is not good not good at all okay okay oh shit do i have enough juice here i just have to get over to the photon charger uh this is a bit scary uh, i just had five kilometers of range and now it shows a dash 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 oh uh, asian cars they tend to do that um but hopefully we can make it to the charger three kilometers from here um we have 6.5 percent battery left and you can see that the discharge power is not dropping it was 90 kilowatt for the longest time now it's not dropping slightly but uh, we should still be safe right right uh we're done with the test only 79.7 kilometers and then consumption was 165 watt hour per kilometer and then with four percent left that translates to only 13.7 kilowatt hour uh oh this battery seems to be quite bad uh don't trust this it's more like 50 percent still health uh, this battery should be covered by warranty that's how bad it is oh shit okay let's plug in and see if we can get some okay charging speed at least oh interesting chem power reported three percent huh okay uh and then there was four percent here but now we're getting oh 43 kilowatt at least that's good another strange thing is this uh, when we started we have 8604.4 so according to this number we have spent 26.6 kilowatt hour that, that no that, that can't be right either so it means that you can't trust well actually you can't trust any of the numbers on the bottom here oh this is also bad news normally we'll get uh, nice and flat 40 45 kilowatt all the way to 70 percent and now it throttled already let me see when did it throttle um can we click here okay but it seems to have throttled already at around 30 percent oh that's not good uh, and also another indication is that if we look at the kilowatt hour added um it should correspond with what uh, well actually no, isn't that a bit weird? We added seven kilowatt hour. Uh, huh. No, well, actually, no, no that, that sounds about right. I mean, if we would sit and wait to 100%, that would take a while. Then that should be... Uh, I think that corresponds because we spent... It's, I estimated the 13.5, but then you also have to take into account some discharging losses. I mean, sorry, charging loss because the battery heats up so yeah everything makes sense um this battery is bad 
it is bad stay away from this car oh and visit here the car was first time registered in 2015 that makes this car eight years old battery warranty is only seven years so yeah if you don't get this on warranty then it's going to be really expensive to fix it well i mean you could say yeah valdemar could fix it but i talked to valdemar about this he can try to fix it and recover some of it but you know getting only 13.7 he's not going to recover six kilowatt hour he might recover just one or two kilowatt hour the other cells are still bad we are back at Birgen Hoog. I went really deep this time. There is no indicated range, no bar, nothing left. 1%. I noticed that the percent drops really fast towards the end. But now I want to see the voltage. So let me see. I have to dig into the menu here. Uh, let me find it first. Okay, one thing that is interesting is uh, module temperature. See that we have one module that is 39 degrees Celsius. And then some modules are uh, 26 only, you see. That's quite a big gap between min and max. And I suppose at least module 1 and maybe, I'm not sure, module 1 and module 8, they are the hottest. And they might be the ones that will uh, uh, degrade faster. And now we look at cell voltage and you see that uh, most of them, or pretty much all of them, they are 3.52. Yeah. If we just scroll through, you see 3.52, 3.52, all of them have the same voltage uh, skip a little bit go to the top 3.48 cell voltage one is at 3.2 sometimes it drops even below it so yeah it seems like cell one is the problem so yeah that that one pulls down the rest of the battery pack the, the rest is good you know they're like oh they're good to go but the cell number one is like oh shit, i'm gonna die soon yeah, so wait, that is uh, somewhat high cutoff voltage, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so maybe if Valdemar replaces cell number one, the battery will be good again. Uh, I can ask him about this. Come on! Come on! Oh, shit! Go for it, go for it! Leroy Jenkins! Oh, come on, come on, come on, don't die, don't die, don't die. You wanna die over here, man? Oh, shit! Shit! The battery died! The car died! Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go! Go, crawl! Crawl, you mother trucker! It died here! No, 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 go, 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 go down here, go down here, go down here, go down here. Come on, what? Shit! Come on, get, 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 get down there, get down there, get down there. Come on, come on, come on. I have no power. I have no freaking power. It went from... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We have to get up the hill. Come on, come on, build up, build up speed. Build up speed, build up speed. I can't break, I can't break. Coming through, coming through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up the damn hill. Get up the last hill. Oh, shit, it's... Oh shit, it's the... <gasps> no! 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 Come on, come on! Get up there! Get up there! No, 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 no,